everybody. Welcome to Motivation Monday. I'm Jeannie Scioli from Ladera Ranch, California, and I am so thankful that you're here. Today, we're going to be doing a really quick project featuring the Christmas Season Stamp Set, the Holly Jolly Wishes Stamp Set, and the Coordinating Seasonal Label Dies. I can't wait to share this project with you, so let's get started. I have a fun project, and you're probably looking at me going, she had a Christmas shirt on? Really? Christmas? Yes, I have a Christmas shirt on. Because, believe it or not, it is not too early to start on your Christmas cards. It's going to get crazy. All right, it is almost the middle of August. Can you believe that? It's almost the middle of August. It seems like last week, maybe a couple weeks ago, that I was telling all my teacher friends to have a great summer vacation. And now they are all like getting back to school. Already, they are fixing up their classrooms, they're starting meetings, and they're going to be back in school shortly. I can't believe that. It's craziness. So anyway, we all know that the time flies and let's put your cards together while things aren't so crazy and it become, it's fun instead of being something that's stressful. If you are new here, be sure to say hello. I would love to know who you are, where you're from, and how you found me. And if you have any questions for me at any time, if there's ever anything that I can do for you, my email is stamplegenie at cox.net. Feel free to contact me. If I don't know the answer, I will do my best to find out what the answer is for you. All right, the other thing I want to tell you is right now it is celebration time. If you're not familiar with celebration, this is where Stamping Up gives you free product for every $50 you spend as well. So lots of ways to get free stuff. And I brought up this slide because it is a perfect time to join my Paper Pumpkin Peeps Club. This is a club, you can, you can subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, you could buy one kit, you could subscribe for three months, six months, 12 months, but when you subscribe for 12 months, you become a member of my Peeps Club. And when that happens, look at all the, the benefits you receive. Not only that, Right now, with Celebration, you get four free product choices to go along with all those benefits. So it's a perfect time to join. Let's see, we have our Expressions in Ink class coming up. The last day to sign up for that is the 14th. Uh, we have been waiting for these products to come in, and I am so excited that they are here and we can finally do this class. If you would like information about this class, be sure to go to that uh, link in the center of your screen there, the part that's in the turquoise color, and you'll get all the information about that class that will be held. It's an online class that's held on Saturday and Sunday. All right, like I said, we are Christmasing today. So this will be our project, and I can't wait to show you Look how fun this is. So this opens like this, and then it opens like this. So we are featuring the Painted Christmas Bundle, and or suite, and we are going to be using this beautiful designer series paper. I'm sorry, but Stampin' Up! Their papers are just amazing, and they just keep getting better and better and better. I did not think I needed any more Christmas paper. Okay, I love this. So it has 12 designs. It's double-sided sheets, and you get two of each sheet, so you have one of each design. So here are the designs on one side, and here are the designs on the other. So pretty, 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 pretty. We are going to be using the Christmas Season Stamp Set, the Coordinating Seasonal Label Dies. It's kind of hard to tell what these are right now, but look at these labels. So cool. 
love these labels. So we're going to be using those. And we are also going to be using the Holly Jolly Wishes stamp set for the sentiment. Okay, we're going to get started now. So the first thing we're going to do is stamp some pieces. So I have crumb cake, hair pizzazz, and basic white. And this is thick basic white. And we are going to use hair pizzazz ink, real red, cinnamon cider, early espresso. And <laughs> evening evergreen. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stamp some berries. So I have our little berry stamp set stay up here. And I'm going to put this over here. That might help you see the, if I turn it upside down, does it bother me? Here, that might help you see the images that we're talking about. So we're going to be using these little berries here. And I'm going to stamp a few of those on this white paper here. Okay, then we are going to use the pine branch stamps. So that, well, there's one that comes with two, and then there's a single one. And so now I have to figure out, yep, we're going to use Evening Evergreen, and we're going to stamp one of those. And then I'm going to load up this single one, and I'm going to stamp it up once to get a second generation of color and stamp that right in the center there. Then we have our little, I don't know what kind of leaves these are, but this nice branch here. And we're going to stamp that on our pear pizzazz, in pear pizzazz. So we are going to stamp two of these. There we go. What else do we need? We've got that, we've got that, we've got that. Oh, we need our pine cones. So here we have our crumb cake. And the pine cones have shadow and detail stamps. So I am going to stamp the detail stamp first, and we want the and I just put my finger right into the ink. Okay, so we're going to use Early Espresso. And I'm just going to stamp that like that. And then we have the little one. Like that. Now you can stamp these in either direction. Uh, you could start with the shadow or start with the detail lines. I kind of like starting with the detail lines. So now I'm just going to stamp over this one and get that beautiful pine cone. And let's grab the large one. Yes, I definitely need to get my little color strip into here so I know which colors these are. Okay, so now we're going to align this one. And this goes like this. There we go. So now we have our large and small pine cone. And what's so great about all of these is that we have the dies that match them. So we have this die that will go on here. We have the berries. So okay, so we have, I was not in camera. So we have this one that will go on our pear pizzazz leaves. We have this one to go on our berries. Now this one we need to fussy cut, 
But the pine cones, both of those have dies as well. So those of you that don't like fussy cutting, you can use dies to help you cut everything out. Through the magic of the genie lamp, I have already die cut those pieces to save us a little time. Let me get these pads closed before I make an even bigger mess out of my hands. All right, so let's go ahead. We have a piece of real red cardstock that is five and a half by eight and a half. Now, if you are interested in making this card and you need the dimensions, you don't need to worry about writing those down. You can go to my Stamp with Genie dot com website and all of the information will be there for you in a day or so okay so we are going to take this and score it at five and or i'm sorry four and a quarter and i'm just going to fold that in half And use my bone folder to get that nice crisp edge. Now what I'm going to do is move my scoring blade out of the way and I'm going to go to one and a half inches. So this is one and a half inches over here. Oh, maybe bring this down so you can see. And I am going to take my cutting blade and I'm going to go to that fold line. I'm cutting one and a half inches on that side. I'm going to flip this over and cut one and a half inches on this side. So now I have an E. <laughs> okay. Let me get my bone folder and squish those back down again. There we go. All right. I have a piece of cardstock, or cardstock, designer series paper. That is two and a quarter by four. And I'm going to glue that to the front center of the card. And I have another sample to show you at the end of this, making this card. So be sure to stick around so you can see that one. And now we need four pieces of designer series paper that are one and a quarter by four. And you need matching patterns. So I have two of this one and two of this one. Okay, now if I liked it, I could turn it over and use the other sides as well. But I like these sides. So let me go ahead and glue this one over here and so it's within this cut panel here and this one and then I'm going to flip this open on both sides and I'm going to glue these to these spots. There we go. So there we have the inside. Then we have this awesome label that comes in that die set. And I have cut a couple of the holly leaves. And we have one set of the berries that we stamped and cut out. So we're going to glue this label to the inside center here. You want to make sure that it's centered well and that it is going to be covered by this flap when it comes down. All right, so we have that. Let's go ahead and glue on our holly leaves. I'm 
Once again, you want to make sure that those holly leaves are within this area here. Okay, you don't want them to show when the card is closed. And then we have our little berries. And I'm going to use the multi-purpose adhesive for these. And we're just going to put those right up here at the top of our holly. So that will be the inside of our card. And then we have this on the outside. But let's decorate the front of our card. So I have a piece of thick basic white cardstock that is one and a half by five and a half. And I'm just going to go around the sides just to make sure they're all nice and flat. Sometimes when you use the trimmer, you can get a little bit of an indentation on that. And I am using the We Wish You a Merry Christmas stamp. Thank you so much for those hearts. I love seeing those go by. And we're going to stamp that. Let me get my pad here. Actually, this is a red rubber, so I don't want my pad underneath. So I'm going to just stamp this to the right side, hopefully straight. Not too bad. Okay. And now we can start building upon our front. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put adhesive down here in the corners and I know not to go above one and a half inches here. So I want to make sure that I have this with a lot of adhesive and then we're going to put this down. And I have found when they're like this, the pieces kind of want to move to the sides. So I'm going to lay it out flat to glue this piece on. So I'm just going to put the one in the left corner here. And then I'm going to take it over and do the right corner. Okay, so now we have our little bridge put together. And let's decorate it. So I have a couple of these die cut leaves. So I stamped them on the pair of pizzazz and then die cut them out. I have my two pine cones, one of the large, one of the small. I have the pine needles branches that I fussy cut out and I have my little berries here. So I'm going to just start gluing these on. Now you have to be careful not to glue within this open area here. So I'm going to get my silicone craft sheet to do my gluing just to make sure I'm not gluing to my surface through that open window area. Okay, so I'm just going to add some adhesive here. Put that one right up here. Now this one is going to go into my window, so I'm only going to put adhesive on these bottom leaves here. I'm just going to go with these three leaves and make sure that those three leaves are on my panel here. So you can see I don't have any adhesive over here on this side. Okay, let's go ahead and do our little pine branches here. And I'm only going to put adhesive at the bottom here. I kind of want these to be a little free form. And we're just going to stick those in right like that. Okay, let's go ahead and glue on our pine cone. This is the small pine cone. 
And we're going to put that right down here in the bottom corner. And my berries. are going to go right up here. For the large pine cone, I'm going to use stamping dimensionals. So what I'm going to do is look where I want to put that pine cone. I'm going to want that like right down here, like this. You want to make sure it stays on the card. And so I'm figuring out where I can put my, my dimensionals. So I can't have any back here, but I'm going to have them here. But before I put that on, I am going to use the, the single pine needles again and the Evening Evergreen ink. And I'm going to stamp that over here to bring those branches over a little bit. And now I can go ahead and put Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of this pine cone. Once again, I don't want to go too high up because I do not want this adhesive to go through the window. Now I can take this and we're going to put that right down here, just like that. And we need a little bit of sparkle and bling. So I have tied a double knot out of our gold cording and I'm going to use mini glue dots to hold that on. Now. In the past, I have, oh, thank you for the hearts. Um, in the past, I have shown you how to just kind of take this and roll it and make a ball out of it in your fingers. Well, sometimes when you do that, you're going to take away a little bit of the stickiness of the mini glue dot. So if you just take your poker tool and your take your pick tool and just start it at the top and then just roll that glue dot, it rolls it perfectly and you can put it where you would like it to go. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of sparkle here with our gold cording. And we're going to add some of those decorative dots. Now there's a bunch of colors on here that you could use that would look really nice. Actually, any of these colors would look nice on this card. I'm going to go ahead and use the ones that are, I believe these are Old Olive and these are Pear Pizzazz, and I'm going to combine those. So I'm just going to take and put one of the large olive ones, and then next to it I'm going to put a small Pear Pizzazz, and then down here I'm going to add another small pair of pizzazz. Okay, so we just add a little little bit of fun with our gems there, or our dots. And that's it! Look how easy this card is to make, and it's going to be fun for people to open. So there is our first layer, here is our second layer, and here is the inside of our card. It's not just the best. I love it. And then we have the stamps that match, so I can create a really fun envelope to go along with this as well. All right, so I promised to show you a couple more samples with this paper. We have done this uh, technique with um, this card before. Uh, on a Motivation Monday, so if you want to see how to make this, you can scroll back and see this. But this is that card that shows off the Designer Series paper so well, and I just wanted to show you what it would look like as a Christmas card. Super simple, fun way to show off all that Designer Series paper, and just a beautiful card. 
So there's that one. And now I want to share with you another one of Sophia's creations. We all know that her cards are always amazing and super wow. So here is the card that she sent in for our card swap using these same products. And this opens up like this. Beautiful. But there's yet another surprise. There's another layer here for you to write your greeting on the inside. Okay, never thought of that before. Love this idea. So look at all, look at that workmanship. She just did a gorgeous job with this. And then it would stand up like this. Beautiful, Sophia. Love it. Thank you so much for sending that in. Okay, so there's some samples with this designer series paper. And now I want to show you my other sample that I made this morning to go with our penguin class. So we are going to make one of these cards with our penguins. And this is what I came up with for the penguin class. So this opens up this way. And then you have your cute little bear dancing to say hello. So here's another sample with this template that we did today. That's it. I hope you enjoyed Motivation Monday today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I respect your time. I know some of you are on your lunch break or your afternoon break. Really appreciate you being here. I'm going to scroll through real quick to see if I see any questions. Oh, thank you so much, you guys. You're so sweet. Okay, that's it. That is all for today. Thank you. Bye.